has been the John McAfee had been on the run for three weeks, trying to evade police in Belize. How many people at the checkpoint? The high-tech entrepreneur, who made a fortune selling computer security software, invited reporters from Vice.com to join him on the land. The online magazine was interested in documenting McAfee's edgy lifestyle, which in recent years has revolved around drugs, sex, and guns. To promote its exclusive access, Vice published this smartphone picture of McAfee with reporter Rocco Castoro. That was a big mistake. Digitally embedded in the photo was the location where it was taken, and it placed McAfee in Guatemala, just across the border from Belize. Now the world knew where John McAfee was hiding. Joe Brenner, who until 2009 was the nation's top counterintelligence official, says the computer security guru was done in by the phone's GPS technology, which attached precise longitude and latitude coordinates to the photo. This is a tracking device. There's no question about it, and we're all carrying one now. And when you use that tracking device to take a photo, and you send that photo, your information is also sent. And some of that data, it, depending on how the phone is set, is going to include the location where it was taken. On his blog, McAfee called the disclosure an accidental release by an unseasoned technician at Vice Headquarters. Now he's emerged in Guatemala City, asking for political asylum, saying he left Belize to escape a witch hunt. At that point, I decided I had to do something, went undercover, I'm now here and I am now going to speak out and I'm going to speak out big time. McAfee, who developed the antivirus security programs that still bear his name, left that company 18 years ago. Since then, Scott, he's been living on the millions he made as one of the nation's first big software pioneers. Bob, thank you.